Junk bots! Hey guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and today we are going to be checking out the highly anticipated and highly requested, including from myself, Hexbug Junk Bots. If you have seen all these great Hexbug Junk Bot commercials popping up all over YouTube, now we can finally open one of these up and see what they actually do. There's a lot of pieces and parts to these guys. I can't wait to start building. Let's start opening them up. Squirrel Stampede! Please swipe Squirrel and Squamant. 918,000! Hey, follow us on Facebook and help share the news! And there on the table we have the Hexbug Junk Bots. We have two two-bot packs with one energy module over here. They usually run about $10. And we have one four-bots pack with one energy module and one motion module. Should be plenty of junk bots to build today. Let's start right off with a two-bot single pack. Huh? Does that sound right? Two-bot single pack? That sounds funny. And the first thing we are going to do is unlock the chain from the junk bot rubbish bin. Nice little chain piece. I think this might interact really well with your junk bots. It's kind of a rubbery feel to it with a little lock to lock it up. So who's it gonna be? Who's gonna be our first junk bot found? Oh, there's a lot of parts in here. Look at all that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, way more than I thought would be. Look at all this junk, Gold Mecha Squirrel. I think I got a washing machine. Is that what this is? Oh, this is great. That's got to be the core body. Okay, some instructions here. I knew there would be junk. We've got a half milk container here. And I believe this is some of the designers from Hexbug on these milk cartons, if I remember correctly. We've got bags of trash. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here. I didn't think it would be this much. We've got a nice big barrel body. We've got wheels for our bug. Another milk and tart carton with another designer. Oh, look at those a little closer. Oh, it, a little mouse. Awesome. Or oh, a rat, probably. Oh, and here's an arm. Okay, so we've got plenty of stuff. Oh, this must be our light up fiber optics. Green, pretty. Oh, that is cool. That's what's always nice about Hexbug is the uh, electrical mechanical component to them. A boot. Oh boy, what are we gonna build here? Looks like some Chinese food. The junk bots we found are Tatonka. Going to build a Tatonka here. And a tank. Oh, I like tank. I like the little inner tube around its barrel body. Maybe before we build them, let's check out what's inside these little trash bags. Is there an easy way in? Whoa! I caught a couple things, it kind of shot out. There was like a little knife in there and some sort of Dr. Seuss accessory. What is in this one? Oh, is that a dog bowl? Oh, there's so many, a flipper, a swimming flipper. There's so many items. I'm just gonna tear these, whoa, oh, bad idea. Something just went flying. A uh, big of a jig and another joint. Ah, and that's what went flying across the room. That's a pretty critical part. Gotta be careful, more critical joints. All right, oh, and another one flipped out. Oh, I gotta be really careful here. All right, let's start with the Tatanka build. I think it starts with this epic piece here. This is such a beautiful piece. It spins a little bit in there. Oh, it's gonna rotate. Oh, this is such a cool little piece. Okay, so we'll find the other pieces here. This is a little tricky with the instructions in black and white, finding the right pieces. Wow, Tatanka is really challenging. I think I'm going to slide him over here and start building tank at the same time. That might help out as I try to figure out who gets what junk. And to the best of my ability, I think I've got Tatanka and Tank constructed. Now they are just junk, so they can't be perfect, right? It was a challenge though, reading these instructions. Good thing is that the instructions are pretty detailed. If you really look closely, each piece is drawn really well. You'll notice a bolt or a, a hole or something on a piece to really figure out 
what it is. Unfortunately, there's only a front and a back photo, so you really gotta look closely. I kinda guessed on, like, Tatanka, what's putting his head onto the main body. But I think it's close enough, and there's plenty of extra pieces for you to really kind of go on your own. Tank was a lot of fun figuring out those legs, especially the one here with the panel on the bottom. I'm not 100% sure if I have that right yet, but I really like how tall Tank looks. It's pretty funny. The ball joints overall work pretty well. You may want to be careful occasionally. I think I got this one a little bit stressed when pressing the ball into the body. So make sure you have a pretty strong grip and that ball is going in the right direction because you can't start bending pieces. But these turned out so cute and creative, I love them! Tatanka is my favorite of the two, but the little rover wheels and the main body is just awesome. So also with these packs included is the energy module. So this will interact with your junk bots. Let's see if we can get this back on. There we go, nice bright green. So who wants the energy module first? Well, let's try Tank here. He's raising his hand. Somewhere here, we're going to place these coils into him. Maybe just this back piece right here. Ah, so now Tank has a little bit of a green light coming out of its mouth. If I'm doing this correctly, I'm still trying to figure this out. And I think you can take this piece. It's got another ball joint, and you can place it anywhere, probably. Hopefully on the back here, and interact all these little wires into Tank. Oh, we've even got another spot down here somewhere. Okay, so I could take another one and rotate it around this way and really make him look electrical. I like how he's standing so easily too. Very cool little added piece to these. Very glowy. Oh, he slipped and fell. Gotta pop in that leg back in. There we go. I like that flipper, it gives him extra stability. Well, somewhat extra stability. Well, that was a fantastic challenge, well worth the $10 for a two pack. You can do so much with these. So I would say we leveled up and we can move on to the four pack. Let's take some of these extra pieces right now. Oh, I like this spoon piece. Is that a spoon? Uh, let's take the extra pieces, throw them in here so we don't get them confused with the next build. I love the little container you can reuse and play with. Throw our junk box inside for the moment. And move on over to the 4-Bot Pack. 4-Bot Pack with 50 pieces and a motion module too. I think that's got Gold Mecha Squirrel all ready to go. Oh wow, this thing is packed! Packed! Oh my goodness. So many more characters. This time we're going to have to sort through four different junk bots to build. <laughs> they have simulated trash so well. This is so perfect. Oh wow, oh my goodness. Look at all the pieces. Oh, it's brilliant. The way they mix these large parts with the little black trash bags and then they throw in the little extra boxes of munchy mop flakes, it looks like trash. It's so perfect. It is so funny. Oh, I got another tube, so we'll see some reused parts here and there, which is fine. Oh, is that a vacuum cleaner? No way, that is cool. And an uh, old CTR screen, maybe? Or no, that's kind of like a headlight, or a, a shop light, maybe. Um, what's the other large piece? Um, kind of like a weird bucket thing, I don't know what that is exactly. Soda pop! Oh, this is so funny. Oh, here's some of our guys now. So who are we building? We've got Bebop. And we've got Turbo, and where's another guy? We've got Found, oh, and one more here. Scorpio, a scorpion. We all know what a scorpion is. It is a squirrel without fur. So we'll get all these black bags open now. I think I'll use the scissors this time. All sorts of little pieces. Oh, it's an iron, very good. All sorts of connectors. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge. Whoa, what, oh, it's a microphone! Oh, that's cool! Ooh, some clear pieces. One more bag here. Hands and arms. So let's get all these boxes out of the way. We'll throw them back in here, and we can start sorting out our pieces. Oh, one more bag. Ooh, this must be the motion module. 
I think, for some reason, I think I might be able to build Scorpio first. I think it might be the simplest one to find. So let's move on to Scorpio here with the light, central light piece. And Scorpio constructed, I would say about 90% right. I'm not sure on this arm yet, if that's the right piece. Not sure about this neck joint going into the body. This is okay. The head is really funny because it's on that moving, rotating piece in here. So it kind of just bobbles back and forth. I like the little smiley head antenna ball. Um, but I think out of the four that I had to build was the easiest. This tail is really cool. It's got some mechanical pistons, shocks in there that are really cool to look at as you can kind of move the scorpion tail around with an iron on top. So there is Scorpio and now this will help out getting him built. I can now move on to another one. Let's try, I really want to kind of see this guy next with the vacuum because it's such a cool piece. Bebop, let's see if we can find more pieces to bebop and build. And a Bebop junk bot build. I think I'm slowly getting the hang of this, identifying the pieces a little quicker now. Nice vacuum cleaner rock star build. Got a microphone and a speaker up top for a head. That's got to give some crazy feedback. I think the only piece I had trouble with is this elbow piece. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's close enough. This one might be fun to put in the motion module when we figure that out. So now we have two of the junk bots built. Let's try another one. I think this one back here might be my go-to one next. So we are going to work on Turbo. Turbo's got that really cool wheel piece in the back. Let's try to find more pieces for Turbo. I don't know yet. I might have to do some back and forth with Turbo and Found. I think we can start with Turbo here. Yeah, let's set Turbo over here for a moment and work on Found and hopefully I can figure out the two together. Found is right here. And I do have some pieces ready for found. All right, I think I have found, found out. There's a few pieces here or there that I kind of improvised, not 100% sure. But what a cool little junk bot this guy is. Kind of dog-like, maybe. <laughs> is that a battery it's hooked up to? <laughs> I like the front treads. The rovers are very interesting builds. Couple pieces there, I'm guessing, but we have a lot of extra pieces to kind of figure out as you go. So that leaves us with Turbo, finally. Hopefully, I can figure Turbo out. Turbo's been the challenge of the set so far. There we go, finally got Turbo going. I had his hoverboard piece across the table here and I didn't notice it and so I was having so much trouble figuring that out as one of his arms pop off. You'll find that many of the ball joints, some will be super tight, some might be a little loose. You just gotta work with them a little bit. This one's pretty neat though. This back wheel, not 100% if that's how you want it on there but it gives it stability because these front two wheels, he'll tip over without them. But very nice junk bot, so pretty, the yellow is so vibrant on him. And with that, we have built our four main junk bots. Pretty good collection build. For $20 on the four pack, quite the deal. And there's still all sorts of extra pieces. I didn't get to the drill piece. I kept trying to figure out what this one was for, but it's a tiny drill. There must be another junk bot that uses this as their primary weapon. Oh, I love the little mouse piece. This piece too is in both packs, I think now, and it's quite interesting. Now we have to figure out who gets the motion module and who gets the energy module. Oh, it looks like we have to build up the energy module real quick. Take the little LED fiber optic strands and place them in. Oh, you could do one or you could do three. The other one had three. I kind of would like to see the motion module go on uh, Bebop. I think Bebop would be fun to start with. And the motion module, probably very similar to your hex bug. It's a vibration piece. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Ah, I can't even pick it up. Get over here. 
Ah, okay, there we go. All right, so let's find a spot for Bebop here. And I think you'll want to just kind of place it onto their back piece here, does. Both ball joints in, we turn on. Oh my goodness, there he goes. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, it falls down. Even sounds like a vacuum, kind of. That is awesome. All right, let's try a different guy. See what else we could find out. Let's try Turbo over here. Turbo has a great spinning mechanism in there. What's a mechanism? That's a really cool word. Mechanism. Rotational things going on in there. What is this, like a mixer or a shop vac or something? But you can see those things rotating inside when we rotate this back crank. But instead, when we put on the motion button, it's gonna vibrate a little bit. Not as exciting as the vacuum. Maybe if we take this back wheel off. Whoa! How about we'll use this as stabilizer? No. Nope. Well, that'll do it. You're just gonna have to kind of play around with some of these. How about Scorpio? Does Scorpio do anything funny with the vibration module? Oh, there he goes. Come back, Scorpio, come back! I don't want to! Look at that. Pretty good with Scorpio. What is Found going to do? Oh, he's, he's pretty stable with these treads up front. I don't see much going on there. Found, you can actually open up in there. Well, that's crazy. Ah! It's all over the place. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. So, of course, there's also the energy module with these. This one might be fun to kind of store the energy module inside and have some of the piping come out. But each one of these, there's a hole there to move the... Uh, wire through and light these up. Oh, the vacuum might be really fun. You can kind of go through here and light him up a little bit. So this is something you could really play around with and really light up your junk bot. So good collection with the four bot pack. Definitely something to keep you busy with for way over an hour. There is a lot of things going on with these great junk bots. Wow, we are really pressed for time, but I really want to see one more pack of these two more bots to open. Oh boy, what's in here? Oh, we might save time because looks like we have a repeat, a Scorpio, and this one though is new. An Ariel 51. Ariel 51 looking similar to Turbo, so it'll be kind of fun to see two different kind of robots with the same body. Aerial 51, mostly constructed, a little tricky with those legs, trying to find which piece goes where, but there we go. The antenna, too. I don't think I had the exact piece shown in the drawing, but I think it works pretty well. And again, a quick comparison now of two different junk bots with the same body. They can look strikingly different, can't they? And Turbo would both look really good with the energy module. Let's try that out here. Whoa, this is creepy cool. So far today, I've only encountered green. I'm wondering if we will see any of these in red or blue or yellow. It would be nice to have a different coloration variation. And again, this pack does come with all the pieces necessary to build a second squirrel scorpion. Not a bad one to have doubles of because scorpions are pretty neat. Look at this little piece. This is interesting. It's kind of like a wheel. I wonder what that one's all about. I might be able to place on the bottom here. And just add to this guy a little bit. That stuff starts flying off. Very good. Oh, and that is the junk bots. If you enjoyed these toys, check them out. They're usually over at Target, and I think Amazon too is a great spot to find them. What an assortment of junk. If you like today's video, please give us a squirrel eye, a squike, and a squamant. And that's what I have to say about that.